Hi, I'm Brian Smith, a solutions consultant at BIM9, and today I'd like to show you what it's like to log into a private BIM cloud and run AutoCAD using the Aircom Blaze client. So here we are at my MacBook Pro desktop, and to get started, I'm going to actually start with the Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection, so you can see how AutoCAD performs without the Blaze client. And right now I'm connecting to the private BIM cloud that's located in our Las Vegas office. And again, I'm in uh, Virginia Beach. Going to start up AutoCAD here real quick. Loads very quickly on the private BIM cloud. And I'm going to open up a, a drawing, which is a fairly basic uh, floor plan. It's got a lot of uh, hatching and things like that that you can see. And if you look real close, I know it's very difficult to see, but my crosshairs on the screen are a very dark blue color. And I'll explain why that is here in a moment. But for the time being, I'm going to change the color of my crosshairs to a, uh, to a white color so that you can see them a little better. And what I want to point out here is the fact that AutoCAD, when running in a remote environment, uh, you'll experience something called cursor lag or cursor bounce. And basically when I'm moving my mouse around on my mouse pad, uh, the crosshairs are not really keeping up with what I'm doing. But um, AutoCAD as a whole is functioning uh, very well. And, you know, running on a private BIM cloud, it's a, it's a highly optimized machine. Um, it's just when you're using AutoCAD-based products in a remote environment, you will experience this cursor lag. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let me point out that once my crosshairs are up in the Windows area, a regular interface area, and my pointer is a regular arrow, uh, everything functions just fine. It's just when the crosshairs or are in the graphics area, you know, there's a lot of processing power that's going on here and updating the screen with the new location of your crosshairs. So I'm just going to uh, quit out of my Microsoft connection. The private BIM or my session in the private BIM cloud is still running. And I'm just going to hop right over to the Blaze client and connect my local Blaze client to the Blaze server that's running on the private BIM cloud. And here I am back in that same environment. Again, my arrow tracks uh, in real time and normal up here in the Windows area. But now, when I move my crosshairs down into the graphics area, you'll see uh, I have a white cross in addition to the uh, regular AutoCAD cursor. So as I'm drawing, I'm actually looking at the white cross for the location of my cursor. And so now you kind of understand why I had the color set to a darker color. So I'm going to go back and, and change that again. Options. And I'm going to go under colors. And I'm going to change my crosshair colors to that same dark color we had before, 188. And I'll apply all that. So now, again, if you look very closely, you'll see a very dark blue set of crosshairs tracking and keeping up with my uh, white cross cursor now. So I get an arrow up here, I get a white cross down here in the graphics area. So now I can zoom extents, I can zoom in on an area, I can uh, start to work. If I start the line command for an example, I still get my object snap information that, that pops up. Um, if I go to select objects for an example, I still get my regular crossing or windows indicators. The big difference here is, is my crosshairs are um, just the white cross now that is actually responds as quickly as the arrow would up here in a regular Microsoft area. So from this point on, I am just working just as though I normally would be. Um, to make this drawing a little less busy, I'll freeze the, the hatching that's there. But you can see that you can zoom in. I can roll my mouse wheel in and out. 
Um, double click on the text if I wanted to change this text. Um, everything else is actually working just as it normally would be. And when I'm all done with my AutoCAD drawing, I would close out of AutoCAD. I'm not going to save any changes here. This would return me back to my desktop. And when I'm all done with my session as a whole, I would just uh, close out or log off of my remote desktop connection. And then I'm done with my private BIM cloud session. So I hope that gives you a better idea of what it's like to run AutoCAD on a private BIM cloud using the Aircom Blaze client. Again, I'm Brian Smith, and for more information, be sure to check us out on the web at BIM9.com.